Hey guys, Pywolf here. I just woke up, uh, and I'm gonna read this thread that I made on Twitter, um, because I am a part of the Twitter FGC now, which means I can post all my opinions and not have to worry about the consequences of my opinions. So, uh, let's get into it. Um, so there's apparently a controversy that occurred with Reverse Sludge recently and have, like, a bunch of people on my timeline talking about it. Uh, and it's really simple. Uh, basically, somebody was complaining at Harada, saying, Harada, are these leaks true? Because apparently, uh, you know, this this needs to be... <laughs> you need to tag the, the game developer uh, on Twitter to make sure that uh, these le the <laughs> leaked information of their game is public display. So that the developer also leaks info. I, I really don't understand what kind of answer he, they were expecting. Um, um, and yeah, he basically just got like, uh, you know, the, the typical Harada, like, Oh, I'm, I'm Harada. Uh, you dare confronted me? Uh, you're stupid. Don't talk to me. Uh, sort of response. Uh, so it, it, it wasn't very interesting of an origin story, but, uh, that, that is what it is. Um, so I, I posed the question, why would anyone say Reverse Switch killed a C6? Because that's what the guy said. Uh, cause to me, from my point of view, Soul Calibur 6, it launched, it had people playing at tournaments, it got, uh, a season one, which I think it came with the, it was already announced before the game came out, so it's not like it got season one as, uh, as a result of, um, anything that, uh, any, uh, consumer, uh, inputs, but it's rather, uh, season two, you could say, and the COVID, uh, or sorry, the world tour before COVID happened, which basically didn't get to happen because of COVID, uh, you could say the world tour being announced in season two being a thing, uh, you could say that the game had momentum and was still alive. So, that's why I would said, um, everyone knows COVID killed the momentum that the game had. Because that's, that's literally what happened. You know? People were playing season two, uh, or people were playing season one until season two, to when they had to play online only, basically. So... Uh, Hayate says, a uh, smart person, a uh, cool person, very kind person, says, It was the first reason why most of the first month player base dropped the game, because RE was seen as frustrating, annoying, and time-consuming mechanic. Most of those games would have dropped- most of those players would have dropped the game anyways, like in any fighting game, but Ari has marked that memory. And I think this is a very fair tweet, but I would say, on the other hand, uh, this happens with- Literally every new fighting game mechanic, um, in, in general, uh, that people find to be for newer players, uh, and I'll just list some examples off the top of my head, like in Soul Calibur 4, we had the guard crush system, which, to me, is, like, one of the things I dislike the most in Soul Calibur 6, I, I dislike it more than RE, um, and also, Soul Calibur 5 introduced critical edges, but you'll see a running trend in here that people will complain about these mechanics when they come out, but when they become more standardized and modernized, uh, people people don't really care anymore. Like, no one no one in this thread is complaining about, oh, the, the game has supers in a 3D fighting game? Oh, ho, 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 I hate that. Because uh, that's, <laughs> that's what a lot of people did with Soul Calibur 5, so it's like... Uh, they don't have that same energy in SC6, because it's more normal now, and I assume RE is gonna get the same treatment in Soul Calibur 7, uh, whenever that happens, or if other games have, like, uh, Reverse Sledge-like mechanics for more than one installment. Um, so that's all I gotta really say about that. Uh, RE definitely turned a lot of people off. It didn't already kill the game, but it definitely cut the player base down significantly. I'd like to see oh, how many people say that uh, they didn't play the game because it had Reverse Sludge specifically. Uh, I would be interested to see that in particular. Because, to me, it's like it's not for fighting game like 
casually competitive people, but more so for, like, true casuals that, you know, don't really know what they're doing at all, and they just want to play for, like, story mode or whatever, and they're buying, like, the season passes because like, they like the story and new characters, etc. So, I, I don't really... I think when people type this, and I think this is probably just a byproduct of uh, my... Twitter being for the niche of people who play fighting games very competitively or casually competitively, um, that this this comment is going to resonate more with more people because I definitely I definitely have strong memories of people playing at E three uh, with the Reverse Ledge and actually liking it a lot because like I mean that I mean it's what I saw so it, like this anecdote is I feel like it's just fair as mine. Uh, so that's that's all I gotta really say with that. I think I think I think he's right, but also it's not the big picture. Launch already caused the Bailey far more damage than COVID did. Launch numbers are for, are a force multiplier. I think this is a good point because um, if you have a strong start, um, that's only gonna yield great results, and you know numbers dwindle over time. Uh, that's no secret to anybody. Uh, and that said, yes, the whole team of the World Tour did put a nail in the coffin. So I think this is fair, uh, a fair point of view. Uh, and he understands that, uh, Rakuto, Rakuto understands that it did put a nail in the coffin. Like, that, that is what killed the game, COVID. Um, which is the, 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 the claim in contention here that I am addressing. Uh, so here we have, uh, Damus, Damus. Uh, saying the netcode killed it and the lack of support from its own player base. COVID actually saved a lot of fighting games. It turned everyone to online. It revived games such UMVC3 and Skullgirls and helped games like BB Tag and Undernight stay afloat. So there's like a lot of problems in this tweet, uh, like condensed into one. Uh, and I think. I'll summarize it by saying this guy has a Kunimitsu profile picture while also saying that the netcode killed it and games that have really good online are UMBC3. So uh, that's all I really got to say to the Kunimitsu profile picture. It's talking about how online sucks. <clears throat> um, I don't think Reverse Sludge is that big of a deal. I also don't think Reverse Sledge is that big of a deal. Do I care about the mini game? Do I think the mini game is very fun? Uh, not really, but it can be funny sometimes. Uh, I could go without it um, in the next game. Like it doesn't. I'm not like emotional about Reverse Sledge being in the game. Uh, but I don't. It, it's it's way less troubling to me than other things um, that I had issues with when I played Soul Calibur Six. But yeah, I, I, it, you know, to a lot of like uh, more casual players, I, I guess uh, more casual competitive players, they wouldn't like Reverse Sludge that much because it's the new fighting game mechanic. You got to complain about the new fighting game mechanic. Uh, it didn't kill SC six, but personally, I don't like it, and I never want to see another Soul Calibur games again. First, people abuse it entirely too much online. That's probably true. It prob that's probably true. This is probably facts. I can't complain about. Th I, I can't. I can't argue that. Um, Reverse Sludge Repel, the old and new players. Uh, this is an opinion with no, uh, reasoning, uh, followed up to that, which is why I don't think it's very, a very good comment. So, you should probably elaborate on why you think something before posting your opinion. Uh, COVID and delayed netcode did it, sadly. Uh, that's fair. I think I think this is true for most fighting games. Like I don't think many fighting games thrived, if any. I think all of them probably, for the worse, uh, suffered from online only because fighting games are not made for online. That's just the truth. Um, uh, Reverse Legend is my least fighting fi favorite fighting game mechanic, uh, and. Soul Calibur 6 came out in 2018. COVID had a year and a half to hit, so that's got nothing to do with it. 
Uh, I don't know what this guy means. D is he saying that co the game died to him, or the game died to the player base? Because if he's talking about to him, then I guess this comment makes sense, but if he's talking about the actual game getting killed, then it makes no sense at all. So I'll give him the benefit of the doubt, uh, and just assume that he's really, like, self-centered in his comment. Uh... Anyone saying Ari sucks because... Okay, I'm not gonna read that. Bamco's pathological stinginess towards the franchise killed it. Yeah, I would say to an extent that's true. Um, I would love to see Soul Cover 7 with more investment. Um, because I think it gets more returns than invested whenever uh, the game is cared about a lot. Like, Soul Calibur 6 is such a good example of a good Soul Calibur game. Uh, getting a lot of people into it. Uh, I don't think RE killed it. I think the game was really divisive for a lot of reasons. And while RE was one of them, I think it was an example of the more minor ones. There were much larger factors in that game fading out, both internal and external. And I really like this guy's comment because he took more than two seconds to think about what he was typing. Uh, so props to him. And I really like this comment. I think I think uh, I could agree with this fully. I like it. I like that comment. Uh, if the game doesn't get momentum in a year and a half, I doubt it'll get momentum at all. Uh, see, and this is what I would call a comment that has the opposite of what I liked about the other comment. This didn't have any thought put into it at all. Uh, and one can only expect this from nine followers, nobody following him, uh, Yakuza like a dragon is better than Persona 5, this guy, and then he, have you ever heard of play, hashtag play KI, I have not, sorry, um, bad online killed the game, that, you can say that about like every fighting game, but true, true, also true. It's not, it's not wrong, but you can say that about every fighting game. Uh, game was dying before COVID, but I definitely agree that Ari was not the problem. Uh, and I think this is wrong, because you got a season 2, and it was getting a world tour, and that's when COVID started to happen. It Literally, the exact opposite was happening. You were seeing more growth. Uh, and you, you literally see, right under this, a comment that super ratios this. Saying the game was getting bigger turbines in an actual tour, but COVID directly killed the building momentum, so I think COVID is a fair claim. So, like, I mean, that's that's that. That's a wrap. Uh, and uh, that's all That's all the beautiful comments I wanted to read today. Uh, if you want to read more, uh, my, my Twitter's right here. So, I'll probably make more videos like this in the future. Let me know if you guys want, like, music in the background or something. I kind of want to, like, dive into more Twitter stuff, because Twitter FGC is... Uh, really funny and stupid at the same time. So I, I definitely want to make more videos because I got I got nothing better to do um, <laughs> in terms of making fighting game content. All right, uh, everybody have a wonderful week and I'm wishing you all the best, even if you have some questionable takes. All right, bye bye guys.